Howdy everyone, and thanks for joining me. In this video, I'll be building a 1948 Chevy Fleetline by Galaxy Limited. I'll be showing how I did the four link suspension, the interior, and you'll see how it all turned out in the end. So stay tuned. I started off by opening the kit up and seeing what I'm working with for parts. The parts are really clean cast and there is a lot of detail in this kit. This kit comes with all the parts to make this a 1946, 47, or 48. There's not much to clean up on this body. The casting lines are really clean. The hood does have some sink spots in it, so I'll be filling those and sanding everything smooth. The wheels and tires I'll be using for this build are the chrome rim crossbars by Pegasus. I did a mock-up build with all the body parts using tape, so I can get an idea of how everything fits together and see what I'm going to have to do to get this frame to ride as low as I want it to. The sun visor comes from the custom 49 Ford video I did a while back. After I made it, I did some molding and casting because I knew I'd be using the visor again. I want all the body trim on this Chevy. This kit does not come with it. I do have the detail kit that came with the original 48 Chevy kit that was out previously, but that does not come with the trim that goes on the fender skirts. To make sure all the trim matches, I'll be making my own. To make this trim, I'll be using 0.8 millimeter half round rod by Plastruck. It took a long time, but I'm happy with the results and ready to move on. Next, I used some square styrene rod to start making the C-notches for my frame. After I had the C-notches mounted in and got all the bracing in, I was able to remove the original frame sections. And now I have to cut up the original floor pan to make it sit back on this frame. I want to get the floor pan glued back to the frame as soon as possible. For added structure and making sure everything stays straight and lined up. But if I completely glue the floor pan in, I will not be able to get my engine in later on. So what I'm going to do is glue everything in the back down, but leave the front unglued. That way, I'll be able to pull it apart just enough to slip the engine in. Then, after everything is painted and ready for final assembly, I'll finish by gluing the front floorboards down also. Next, I built the airbags for my suspension using small rubber O-rings and some black plastic rod I had. And I got them mounted to the rear end. I used some square styrene rod to make the mounting brackets for my four-link suspension rods. I glued the plastic square rod in place and at the angle I needed it, and then I came back with the saw and cut down the center to make the opening for the suspension rods to mount to.
To make my suspension rods, I'm using 1 16th copper rod by k &S. I start by flattening the ends. Then I drill a center hole. After that, I come back with my file and file it down to finish shaping the outside edge. This is how they look when completed. And I used flathead pins to mount all the rods to the mounting brackets. To bag the front suspension, I knew it would be easier with movable lower A-arms. So I drilled them out and used the flathead pins to mount them back together. I made another set of airbags the same way I did for the rear. And then I had to modify the frame a little bit to get everything to fit. Here's how the chassis looks all painted and put together. It wasn't easy, but I got it as low as I wanted. I was pretty inspired by one I saw at Back to the 50s this last year. Next I drilled out and wired up my distributor and did all the engine detail. I put the engine in and the chassis is done. I got my body painted next and I made a whole video on paint alone. If you'd be interested in seeing it, I will leave a link here and again at the end of this video. But for now, I'm moving on to the interior. I'll be using Silly Winks foam and making a tuck and roll style interior. I'm not going to go into detail on how to work with the foam in this video, but I will leave a link to a previous video where I go pretty in depth with it in case you haven't seen it. I glued all the glass in and made a headliner to finish up the interior. Everything is ready for final assembly. Here I have the body mounted to the chassis. It took some finessing to get everything lined up right. After that I spent about 4 hours putting on all the chrome toonies and loonies and here is how it all turned out.
that's all I have for you guys today. I'll leave the video for the masking and painting at the end here. I want to say thank you to everybody for watching and I have some real cool builds and some more how I do it videos coming up so stay tuned. Until next time.